Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how you can use Power BI's row level security to secure and dynamically filter project online data. So my name is Ben Howard. I've been a project MVP for 10 years. Uh, obviously, I've got a website and a blog. I also do some online training courses for a company called Pluralsight. So if you're interested and want to know more about project or Power BI, then go to Pluralsight.com. And also you can follow me on Twitter. OK, so let's get started with the blog post. OK, so here we are at the blog post and this video will take you through all of this blog post. So we'll show you how to do everything. If you like the blog post and want to follow what I do, please do subscribe at the end. OK, so the first thing we need to do is go and download one of the content packs. There's some that I published on TechNet. So go and download that and open those up in Power BI. So once we've got this into Power BI, we're going to the query editor and effectively we duplicate the resources table and clean it up by removing any non-valid email addresses. Once we've done that, then back in Power Query, we can create a relationship between the project owner ID in the projects table and the resource ID in the new table that I've called project managers. And then we're ready to go and create the role. So in the modeling tab in Power BI, we create a new role. I'm going to call this my projects. I select the relevant table, which in this case is project managers, and I can add a filter. And in this case, the filter is going to be on the email address and it's going to be email address equals user principal name. So that's all there is from a Power BI desktop perspective. You can actually test this role, of course, prior to publishing it. Remember, you need to set up the users within the role within the Power BI service.